Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now today guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be sowing two different types of cactus seeds. The first one being Aureocarpus fisseratus, what a name. And the second one, Lophophora williamsi texensis. Now these wonderful seeds were gifted to, um, to me and Hans from our wonderful and very generous friend Clyde Morris here on YouTube. So thank you Clyde, very very happy to receive these seeds and very excited about sowing them. And what me and Hans have done, because he sent, sent seeds to both of us, Hans has got half of them and I've got the other half. And I'm going to be sowing them in my little method, which I'm going to explain in a minute, and Hans is going to be sowing his, in his other, other method. Now before I go any further, big thumbs up to, to Hansi, my wonderful fiancé, who is filming me behind the camera. And if you're not familiar with Hansi's channel, do check out his YouTube channel, Family of Cactus and Other Beauties. Links will be up above, so do go over and subscribe and support, guys. Thank you. Now, <laughs> these, are the side, these are the seeds I've got from Clyde. And love for Williamsi Texensis. Look at the little seeds in there. And these Aviocarpus fisseratus, and these are actually seeds from Clyde's plant, own plant, which are very excited, extra special, to get seeds from subscribers' own collections. And um, these have come from, from plants that are very sort of old and established in Clyde's amazing, amazing um, greenhouse he's got there. And as I say, do go over and check out and subscribe to Clyde Morris. Um, Clyde has a wonderful YouTube channel. Um, where he, and he's got a couple of videos of his collection, Clyde uh, Morris, links up above, if I haven't mentioned before. <laughs> so um, do check his collection out, guys. Absolutely incredible. So thank you, Clyde. And as I say, I, we've split these up in two halves. So there's another half of this again, of each of these, that Hans is going to be sowing on his, um, his way, because me and Hans have two different ways of how we grow cacti from seed. And there's no right or wrong way. We know many growers of cacti and succulents and they all have very, very different methods. Now, the method I like to use when I sow cactus seeds, so with succulent seeds, I like to use the baggy method. And the baggy method is that, what I do is once I've sown the seeds, I put them into bags, keep them zipped up, and then once they've germinated, I leave them in there possibly about three, three months and then I start to unzip, I unzip the bag after three months partly halfway and then you unzip the rest of it to acclimatize to the more drier air and the reason why I use the bags there's two reasons one is it takes a lot of pressure of having to keep watering the the seedlings and also especially when they're seeds and they're in little pots they dry out quite quick and the, the main reason is I actually sterilize the soil by microwaving the soil you can also put it in the oven as well to, to kill any, any of the fungus and bacteria, microbes that can cause your seeds, especially the, seed, uh, the, the seedlings, to go fungus and fungal rot. I personally find by sterilising the soil, it does help to keep fungal and damping off at a minimum. And this is why I like to use the baggy method. But you can use any method you want. Some people just prefer to sow them directly without sterilising the soil and without using baggies. You have to do what's better for you. Hans doesn't use the baggies. He has great success with just sowing them direct onto, onto cactus and succulent soil. But I just like to use the baggies. And I'm not gonna go into details about the whole sterilizing the soil and everything in the baggies because I've made a video already on how to grow cacti from seed. And I've also made a blog on my website, desertplantsofavalon.com, where I go into a lot more detail on how to grow cacti from seed. So links will be up above to that video now. Do check that out. If you want to know completely from start to scratch how to grow cacti from seed and you've never done it before, and there I explain my method and why I use the baggy method. So this is just a seed sowing video. Anyway, enough of my waffle, guys. First of all, what I've done, I've got three little pots here. And the one pot I'm going to be putting the Lofa for a Texensi seeds in there, because I need a little pot, I'm going to spread them out. And um, the Aviocarpus fisseratus, there's quite a lot of seed in there, so I've got two separate, two separate pots there um, to put them in. But I'm going to be putting them into, into three little baggies. So first of all then, I'm going to start off with the smallest. And um, as I say, very, very, very generous of Clyde here. 
And what you want to make sure is that obviously when you're sowing seeds, your hands are very clean because if you've got dirty sort of hands and you're handling seeds, it's very easy for them to, to get infected and um, things like that. So these are absolutely clean. And also don't sow seeds outdoors because the slightest bit of wind, they'll be blow away. Um, so you want to make sure you're doing this in the house and then obviously separate this. These, these seeds are quite large um, for lophophores, which is good because you can sort of see them even though they are tiny. So it's easy just to distribute them evenly around. So when they do germinate, there's plenty of room for the little young ones to, um, to grow. And uh, because now normally if the seeds are large, like some cactus seeds, for example, a puncher could be large. I'd recommend covering it probably with a little bit of sand. And I'm going to mention the soil mix I've used in a minute. And that will just cover them. Or even a little bit of soil. But because these seeds are very, very tiny, there's really no need. So I'm just going to be gently pressing them in on the top. Now, so I don't get mixed up, this is the Lophophora. And I'm going to be gently just pressing it down on here. As I said, the seeds are so small, I really don't need to need to worry about putting any sand, horticultural sand, on the top or any grit or, or even any other soil on the top. Now, the soil mix I've used, I mentioned that in the How to Grow Cacti from Seed video, but I've used um, three equal parts of horticultural sand, not builder sand, it has to be horticultural sand, and a John Innes number two, or one, or even a seed sowing compost. Seed sowing compost if you can get hold of it, but any loam based soil. But you can use, I mean, Hans likes to use peat with great success. And also mix it again with, with some grit, so three parts of each. And as I say, it's really up to you what you use for your soil mix, as long as it's well draining. So there we go, Lophophora, and put it straight in the bag so I don't get them mixed up. And as I say, why I use these baggies is because it keeps them in a sterile, completely sterile environment for at least three months. Now, the only time I'd recommend opening the bags before then is if you have any type of fungal attack or anything on the soil, then you do have to get them out. And then that's, you just need to treat that. But I, as long as there's no problems, that will stay in there now for three months. And as I say, I've labelled it and I've also labelled it when I'm sowing it. So I know. Love of Boar Williamsy Texensis cactus seed sown August 2019. So that's them done. And now I'm going to be doing the, the Areocarpus. Again, exactly the same thing because there's quite a few seeds in here, splitting it up into two halves. So getting all these out, making sure that they're all well out there. You always find when you sow the seeds, there's always one that is hiding. Very easy. And then these, because there's a lot more of these, I'm just going to sprinkle them evenly all over the surface. Half in each one. It's good that you do sprinkle them about so you don't, they don't sort of, it is hard sometimes because they'll germinate sometimes as they want. And it might look like I'm putting a lot in here, but they don't necessarily all germinate. Just sprinkle them around so it's all done evenly. Let's say this isn't it's ended up a bit of a how-to video, but it's not because I explained that in the how to grow cacti from seed. And this most important you do not do this outside on a windy or even on any day but outside because the seeds will just blow away. Now, I think that's all the seeds. Again, gently pressing down. Let's say if the seeds were bigger, I would be covering them with a bit more horticultural sand. There's no need with this, the seeds are tiny. And then what I'm going to be doing then is putting these onto the sunny windowsill. It's a windowsill upstairs in my grow room that is sunny, but it's not overly sunny because you don't want to stress the seeds. But the it sort of gets morning sun, which is going to be perfect, perfect for the heat to help germinate them. But again, explain all in the how to grow cacti from seed video. So that's it. I think that's all of the all of the seeds. And thank you again, Clyde, for gifting us these. And I'll do regular updates once they've germinated. Um, in the coming weeks because cactus seeds can take anything from a few days to a few weeks to germinate. In fact, some seeds like a puncher can even take up to a year. I've had seeds germinate a year later that I that honestly thought was never going to germinate. So, um, wonderful. And if you're not familiar with Areocarpus, it's quite an unusual cactus. It looks more like it's like an agave in its appearance. 
Oh, now I know, but it is 100% cactus because it has areoles. There you go. So two bags of them and one bag of Loffer 4 Williamsy Texensis. And once they've, germ well, when they've germinated and they're big enough to actually get to, get to film, I'll do an update on them. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power <laughs> from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye.